Hey everyone, Spen Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a base model Toyota Prius. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Brent Brown Toyota here in Orem, Utah for some time with this Prius. I'm going to include a link to the website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a two liter four cylinder that's paired to a hybrid system and an eCVT. Total system output is 194 horsepower with fuel economy being 57 around town and then 56 on the highway. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see how it's flat there in the center and then kind of falls off a little bit on either side. And then you have the cool design with the lights. Big fan of that. It makes the Prius look super sporty. You guys can see parking sensors here. Notice how just like an electric car, most of the front end is closed off to improve aerodynamic efficiency, which I think is cool. And speaking of aerodynamic efficiency, our tire wheel setup is 195, 60, 17 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see with the wheel itself, mostly closed off which yeah just so cool anyways look at the fender flares here and then you guys can see this random trim piece i'm still confused about that to be honest and then notice the mirror caps are blacked out and then here is the side profile with the prius now take a look at the key fob we have our lock and unlock function we got the toyota logo as well and then popping into the back you guys can see we've got tons of storage space here in the rear hatch area at least for how big the prius is it's not a massive car and because it's a hatchback design it just gives you a little bit more vertical space compared to what you're going to get with a traditional sedan and they give you this nice grab handle so it makes closing it a whole lot easier now so it just says prius here you've got your hev badge parking sensors at the bottom and putting it all together let me guys think about this prius but i think it looks pretty cool especially in this color it's it's pretty pretty out there now take a look at the door panel in the back it's mostly Hard touch material, as you can see again, it's a base model car. And then here's quickly the seats. You guys can see cloth all down the center. And then legroom in the back's good. We also have a little storage pocket there on the side. And then headroom, solid. Now take a look at the front door panel. You guys can see, uh, again, hard touch at the top. But we do have soft touch where you can rest your arm, which is nice. All of window controls here, mirror adjustments. And then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then take a look at the front seat again, all of the cloth trim. You've got your manual seat adjustments there and then we got our gas cap release here um, and then with the dash it's kind of interesting with the design there now take a look at the steering wheel you guys can see soft touch all around we got practical controls like our adaptive cruise control lane keep assist volume voice command controls as well and then you guys can see the stocks there on the back now here's a quick look at the gauge cluster here. You guys can see fully digital. Notice we're right now in the EV mode. And speaking of modes, we do have some drive modes. Uh, so you guys can see we've got a custom, sport, normal, and eco mode that we can go through. And then in reverse, you guys can see backup camera here. Resolution, it's decent. Not the best, not the worst. <laughs> and then as for the rest of the infotainment system, our response time with the screen itself is pretty good. It's Toyota's newer infotainment system. And I like the analog volume control here on the... So I think that helps out quite a bit. And then down below, you guys can see we've got this for our climate controls. And we got some USB ports right here and a little compartment. I think it's called the hashtag king compartment if I remember. Some cup holders, got our shifter there for the eCVT. Drive mode select with our EV mode, auto hold, parking brake, stability control. And then you guys can see side tray, hashtag side tray, that's funny. Pretty normal center console. Nice padding. By the way, there's two USBs inside. Speaking of padding, the dash here on the side also nicely padded. And then with the glove box, yeah, pretty decent sized. Now here's a quick look at the window sticker for this Prius. Um, so I'm pretty sure, like 99.9% .9 sure, this one's not all-wheel drive because it would say it somewhere. And also the base price is less than the base price of the all-wheel drive one. So anyways, total MSRP, 29,602. And do 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 Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, just do a blind spot monitoring throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, let us set off in 
the Prius, the base model Prius. This is a really cool car, and <laughs> this is going to uh, make some people think some funny things. Sometimes, like, late at night when I'm, you know, just thinking about how much money I have personally spent on cars over the years, I kind of think, like, you know what? With my job where I just drive all over the place, it would be really, like, it would make so much sense if I just sold everything that I have and just bought a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I love my cars, but there's something that's so, like, peaceful, I guess I could say, about, like, the thought of owning a car that, like, okay, the all-wheel drive version would be just over 30 grand. So, owning a car brand new, full warranty, just over $30,000, gets over 50 miles per gallon, super reliable, like, don't have to worry about it, and I don't know. Maybe, again, guys, I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting old. The ripe age of 26 and, uh... Yeah, you know what happens? It's, it's just, it's all downhill. <laughs> Anyways, seats are pretty dang comfortable. Um, these cloth seats are not bad at all. And obviously if you get like the loaded up limited or whatever, you got the nicer seats, but I think these are, I think these are just fine. And then aside from that, the power is good. Um, I'm not really noticing, the, you know, sometimes if, you know, a car is front wheel drive you kind of get a little bit weird stuff with the steering but i'm not noticing that so far but we'll see if that happens when we do a full acceleration but this drives so well and you know noise insulation is pretty dang good with this on top of that and the thing that is really appealing about this in my opinion is the fact that it comes with all the safety tech so because like i don't know Again, I just don't care necessarily about all the bells and whistles anymore, but having, you know, some of the modern safety tech, like the lane keep assist and everything, it's nice. Those are nice features to have. Yeah, smooth. Gosh, I love how the Prius drives the new one. It's so, like the power's great. It's more than enough. And we'll see. I want to see if it does any front wheel drive shenanigans. Ah, uh, you can kind of, it's not bad, but you can kind of feel it tugging a little bit, a little bit. So yeah, let's get to setting things up here with this Prius, the space model Prius. I think this is, you know, and, and this one's not all-wheel drive, which, I mean, depending on where you live, that's going to be, like, if you're in California, who cares about all-wheel drive? Um, but here in Utah, you know, some people, it, it makes a little bit more sense. Like, for me, I would rather have all-wheel drive because I, you know, will drive up and down the canyons on a pretty regular basis, so that would be a nice thing to have. But overall, I think this car looks really cool, especially in this color. This color is so cool in the Prius. It drives exceptionally well. It's comfortable and it's so reasonable. It's so, so reasonable in today's world. So the average used car is $26,000. This is just under $30,000. So this is barely more than the average used car. And this is brand new, gets great fuel economy. Uh, the average brand new car is still like 40, just over $47,000. And so, I mean, for almost $20,000 less than the average brand new car, I don't know. This is great, and well, maybe uh, in the future, who knows, maybe you'll see me sell all of my cars and just rock a Prius because, again, there's just, there's something appealing to $30,000 and 50 miles per gallon. Let me know what you guys think.